Welcome back. Now, malnutrition is becoming a major concern in the Ohangwena region with a noticeable rise in cases amongst children under five. We're now joined by Dr. Odin Nkongolo, the Regional Chief Medical Officer of Ohangwena region, to discuss the primary causes, impacts and potential solutions for this pressing issue. Dr. Nkongolo, good evening and thank you so much for joining us here on the Daily Roundup. Good evening and thank you for having me. Doctor, speak to us briefly about the primary factors that are contributing to this rise in malnutrition within the region. Uh, the primary factors, let me start with uh, food security. In the uh, region, the, the food security is poor. So that is a primary factor of malnutrition in my region. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we have uh, high levels of poverty in Angwena. We have a lot of poor people in our region. Mm -hmm. uh, thirdly, we have what we call a uh, high level of unemployment. Uh, my region is not highly industrialized and so many people are unemployed. Mm -hmm. So they've got no income and they, they, they can't get food anywhere. Mm -hmm. To add to that is uh, the drought, the recurrent drought that mm -hmm. we keep facing. And uh, lastly, of course, it's uh, illiteracy. Because when you are not well educated, you may not know what the right food that you should take for your nutrition to be balanced. Right, right. Of these things that you mentioned, Dr. Ngongolo, food security, poverty, unemployment, drought, and the literacy issue, what measures have uh, the Ministry of Health implemented to address one or any of the, or all of these issues, um, and how effective have these measures been? Well, uh, I need to, to mention here, uh, I think it's, it's important that I, stay, I, I say this, Malnutrition is not the responsibility of the Ministry of Health. Like I've uh, earlier alluded to the risk factors, they're actually not related to the Ministry of Health. Unemployment, poverty, food security, that, that is not part of the Ministry of Health. As Ministry of Health, we are just at the receiving hand of malnutrition mm -hmm. challenge in the region. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, I think it has to be understood that way because without understanding that, uh, we will not be able to fight malnutrition as a minister of health. Who does the responsibility uh, lie with, the doctor? It has multifaceted causes. Yes. I was saying it has multifaceted causes where all the stakeholders should come around the table so that we can address it mm -hmm. as one. And who are these stakeholders, Dr. Ngongolo? So, uh, I will come to that, but what we are doing as Minister of Health, since we are the receiving end, we have a food and nutrition program in the country uh, that is establishing all our health facilities. We have about 37 of them in uh, Wangwena region. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, district hospital, uh, 32 uh, primary health clinics, mm -hmm. and two health centers. So. In all those health facilities, and we also have additional outreach points where we drive, provide health services to our people that are far located from our uh, six health facilities. Mm -hmm. So we have this program, we call it MAX, it's a nutrition assessment, uh, counseling, and support. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we do is uh, with all these scattered facilities and outreach points, we, we do screen for mal malnutrition throughout uh, in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that uh, through what we call growth monitoring. We also provide uh, what we call uh, health education to our mothers uh, so that they know how to prepare balanced diet because mm -hmm. that is important to avoid uh, nutrition. We do provide uh, therapeutic feeding. These are what we call plumping nuts for those children that have been identified to be at risk or are moderately malnourished, we put them under a certain program mm -hmm. where we see them on regular and we give them therapeutic things. We also do what we call uh, best, uh, we promote breastfeeding. Uh, 
we all know that uh, the breast milk is a complete food. And uh, we best recommend it for the first six months exclusively. Mm -hmm. We also, uh, uh, in addition to that, we, we have what we call uh, campaigns, vaccination campaign, when we do deworming and vitamin su supplementation. Uh, why we do that is because uh, we know people are not getting uh, balanced diet because of their level of poverty and illiteracy. So we supplement that with a bit of uh, vitamin, but we also deworm those children because worm infestation can be a cause uh, for malnutrition. Apart from that, we also do refer to the means of poverty, eradication, and uh, gender equality. Children that are in need of support, like social grants, so that they can be getting that little money and be able to buy the food that they need. Uh, so basically, those are the... Yes, I'm listening. Dr. Ngongolo, for the sake of time, I just need to, to interject there. Um, as you mentioned, of course, there's a lot of stakeholders that need to come together to address this matter. So in that your opinion, uh, what long-term long strategies could be employed to, you know, sustainably uh, reduce malnutrition in Ohangwena? First, first of all, we, we need to coordinate our efforts in this fight against uh, malnutrition and not just leave it to the Minister of Health. Uh, we, we would uh, recommend that uh, the Office of our Regional Governor or our Regional Council lead the process so that we can have around the table not only the Minister of uh, Health but also the Minister of uh, Agriculture that is responsible for partly for food security. There are other line ministries that are responsible for employment creation. There are ministries that are responsible for poverty eradication. So uh, we also have some NGOs and agencies, mm -hmm. and a lot of well-wishers actually within the region that keep doing what we call a soup kitchen, mm -hmm. but it, it is done in an uncoordinated manner. So we, we need to really sit around the table and put our efforts so that uh, our impact can be felt. Because uh, as it Thank is you. now, as individual ministry or agency, we are spreading ourselves too thin, yeah. and uh, our impact is not being felt on the ground. Dr. Nkongolo, thank you so much for your time this evening, and thank you for joining us here on the Daily Roundup. Thank you so much for having me. That was uh, Dr. Odon Kongolo, Regional Chief Medical Officer of Angwena, speaking.